Hello everyone, it's nice to see you again. Today I'm going to show you the use of fertilizer calculation files for many plants, it's called nutrients. It is quite similar to the accounting apps for nutrition, fertilizer for plants on the internet. However, it is easier to use, suitable for many people without computer expertise, who grow plants at home, on the terrace, or simply a genuine farmer. And to find out how to use it, let's watch all this video. In this nutrients sheet, in column A is the column of tanks, and for this formula, I divide the fertilizers into five different tanks so that I can actively adjust the nutrition of most plants in the most flexible way. In column B, this is the type of fertilizer corresponding to each tank. Tank A consists of calcium nitrate, tank B is potassium nitrate, tank C is MAP fertilizer or monoammonium phosphate, NH4, H2PO4. Tank D is MKP or monopotassium phosphate. Tank E includes the following types, magnesium sulfate, iron EDTA, boric acid, manganese EDTA, copper EDTA, zinc EDTA, molden. In column C is the amount of fertilizer, gram, phased for 100 liters of water and this is also a concentration of concentrated solution, which should be diluted before watering the plant. In column D is the amount of fertilizer, gram, phased for 1000 liters of water and this is the concentration of diluted solution that can be used directly for plants. Note, you should not worry much about this column D because this is already the conversion volume and we use a concentrated solution to dilute. It is calculated so that we know the ion, ppm, concentration of nutrients and the EC of the fertilizer solution we water the crop. And it is converted into grams per 1000 liters of water and we enter the input section in column F. The unit of this column is liters of concentrated solution of tanks slash 1000 liters of water. As we change the intake in this input cell, the EC and the anion slash cation will also change according to our will, so that we can adjust the nutrition for each stage and each plant in your country's climate accordingly. I'll take a specific example of melons. For melon plants, the first stage we will water EC fertilizer solution is 1.5 to 1.7 and has the basic import of the mother tank solution for 1000 liters of water is as follows, A3 liters, B3 liters, C1 liter, D2 liters, E2 liters. During this period, if in your country you are in the condition that there are many insects that sting and transmit viral diseases, we will need to accelerate the plant in this period by increasing the rate of N slash K. We can increase tank C to 2 liters and reduce D increase to 1 liter to bring the N slash K ratio to 1.1 so that the plant will tend to accelerate growth but still not unbalance other elements. On the other hand, Increasing the NH4 slash NO3 ratio will burn the stems of the plant long and the growth top will grow stronger. However, if you do not have two large insect problems, I recommend that growth maintenance will help larger stems, leaves, tops and stems will grow more balanced. In my country, I usually use MAP less, only when necessary so my dilution amount will be A3 liters, B3 liters, C0 liters, D3 liters, and E2 liters. For example, preparing at the pollination phase, we will increase the EC to 2.0 to 2.2, and balance the nutritional factors. I will rise to the largest allowed threshold as follows, A4 liters, 
B4 liters, C0 liters, D4 liters, E4 liters. We still guarantee CA160 ppm, P60 ppm, N slash K ratio is 0 0.82. These are important indicators so that you can be sure that the pollination process will be successful. For example, next. When you need to increase the weight of the fruit you will increase the water and increase the EC by simultaneously increasing all tanks to between 5% and 15%. When you need to increase the sweetness, reduce the tank A, D, E and increase tank B, the ratio of ions will change in the direction of increasing sweetness, as you see, the ratio of N slash K decreases, potassium total increases, but still maintains the EC within the appropriate threshold. And towards the end of the plant you will reduce, at the same time all tanks, to reduce EC planting bags. For other plants, it's the same, once you've understood basically what stage of the plant needs what you can adjust to your will. As for leafy eating, needing a high source of nitrogen, you will not use MKP, but instead use MAP. For example, N slash K is 1.4 suitable for leaf stem development. Want to increase the rate of N slash K even higher you can increase nitrate protein in tank A to promote growth. And there are many more ways to adjust based on this fertilizer formula, which I will share in the next videos. You will be completely confident in mastering your garden, wishing you always success. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe.